So the first thing I want to tell you, to share with you, is the force of education. I mean, that's the most important thing in life because it's an asset that no one can take away from you, and this forever. Second thing, I went to the government, and um, I, um, I entered the government because I started criticizing the government about their um, discretionary powers, especially on trade and finance. And uh, well, after writing these uh, tough articles, I got hired. And uh, I said, I hope that I don't uh, change uh, my values. And uh, well, 10 years later, we were able to do the first comprehensive trade reform in the continent, which was NAFTA. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the important thing of NAFTA was to have it at the constitutional level so that it could not be reversed. Uh, because if not, uh, nobody will pay attention to it because you will reverse it and reverse it. Uh, and uh, so that discretionary power that for entrepreneurship means a lot because before NAFTA, the Minister of Foreign Trade could say, you are the winner and he is the loser. And that's it. That guy will go bankrupt and the other one will make a fortune. Why? Because he has the discretionary power of putting licenses and tariffs without asking nobody. And that was the worst. That's why you ask me, what has destroyed the economic base of Latin America for so many years? The discretionary power of public officials, especially on trade and finance. Mm -hmm. So we got rid of that mm -hmm. with, uh, with uh, NAFTA. Uh, 